Hello and welcome to DCP Live, episode number 203. It's official, I'm back. Hello. Who are you? I'm this per- <laughs> I'm a hunter, Hunter Maine, first off. I'm also the show mechanic. Did anything break? Well, I don't know what you heard, Tefty, but it was all Watts' fault. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with the new intro that we have made specially for you? Where did that go? Yeah, we had a theme song made up. It was yeah, awesome. we made a theme song. I heard shenanigans, it. but I didn't investigate what this was. Shenanigans? Yeah, what? shenanigans. Just a theme song. An opening theme. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, legit, I was actually going to work on the, the, the intro. Like, officially, I was going to work on the intro while I was off. And then I realized that that was going to be work. work and in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and so for two weeks, Not I did off. nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do what I thought I was gonna do uh, for that. So you know, it's it's still up in the air. I think that's fine, man. Like getting away, like interrupting. It's hard to take a vacation right now, you know, because yeah, mm-hmm. like you can't really go anywhere. You can't really go out that much. Yeah, yeah. You, like around here, you can go out to eat, but you gotta like basically sit in a parking lot. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we we were able to hike for the first week. You know, and there's a lot of that's places nice. in Northern California, obviously, because it's. A big state full of beautiful places. And then fires broke out, man, because a historic That's heat true. wave and uh, like a fire tornadoes and j- basically you're tornadoes. supposed to put the butt out yes. when you're done with the cigarette, Tefty, and put it away and take it with you. <laughs> Listen, you're buyer, just flicking those butts around when you throw <laughs> when you throw your Molotov cocktail, <laughs> like cocktail Drew Barrymore out there. You have to get a good distance on that thing, otherwise you're gonna get blowback. So yeah, the first week was great. I got to do uh, memes, and I were you know doing like day hikes and stuff. And then the second week was like smoke, but it was great to just break up my normal rhythms, which was good. Like I didn't even go yeah. in my office for two weeks. Rest? Yeah, you yeah. know, it's good. I the smoke you didn't though. Go two weeks. The smoke was You're your own boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, looks like things are good. I just wanted to check up on here. I'm gonna be. I'm gone. I so. Wonderful. Or hiking. <laughs> <laughs> so how's Paul Tasty, if you were going to get a advanced GG flavor, what flavor would it be? For me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The Paul Tassy flavor. Oh, if you had to get your own flavor. Oh man. Right. It's gotta be something with a T, right? Or else it just doesn't really Ooh, t- something t- tang- tangerine tassy. I don't know. Is that <laughs> tangerine tassy is amazing. <laughs> I don't know if that would taste good, but I'm in. <laughs> it's alliterative. <laughs> also, does it have pot in it? Obviously. Okay. Cannabis yeah. infused tassy tangerine okay. dream. <laughs> <laughs> now we need Perfect. now we need chat to come up with the Paul Tassy weed strain. Yeah. So you guys work I on that. It, that could be called tangerine <laughs> tassy fun, as well. I think. Tangerine tassy. <laughs> Silverback tassy. tassy. Oh well, that just it that was too easy. Itself. <laughs> <laughs> so there was some news, right? There sure there was. was. There yeah. was a trailer. Whew. Yeah. So they had like a Gamescom, like a a work from home Gamescom kind of thing, where uh, you know uh, the guys from Game Trailers. What's that guy's name? I always forget his name. Jeff Keeley. Jeff Keeley, thank you. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of hosted a big thing where he showed a bunch of new games coming out. They showed some more of other games that we've heard about at other press conferences. And one of the things that was shown was a new trailer and some more information about Destiny 2 Beyond Light, which is coming out November 10th. November, sometime, you know. <laughs> it's sorry, 100, 105 minutes into the show, they showed <laughs> yeah, the trailer, yeah. which I was not expecting, but. It Not was, a headliner, uh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> it almost closed it, honestly. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's yeah. um, it was you know, it was a trailer. It wasn't. They showed like thirty something games, so not everyone can have the World of Warcraft animated short spot. Mm. <laughs> that was pretty that was, dope, actually. It was pretty dope, man. Yeah. <laughs> Very long. It was. Um, <laughs> but we got a bunch of new kind of looks at the uh, what are we calling it? Cosmic now? ice. Uh, cosmic, cosmic, cosmic cosmic ice. ice? No, ice is forbidden, according to Griffin. You cannot no. say ice. It is cosmic ice. Well, shit. Although, <laughs> so, although we said ice is banned, he seemed kind of okay with cosmic ice. 
Cosmic Eye sounds I, I, ev- good. I think that's... everyone heard Cosmic Eyes and was like, all right, fine. That's, that's good Bas- enough. <laughs> Basically, you want some resistance from the establishment. You know, if someone says, no, that's banned, then even more so, Cosmic Eyes is more, more in than ever then. Right? Yeah, that's right. If, like, if you start dating a girl and her father loves you, you know right away it's it's over. It's not happening. This relationship is doomed. <laughs> so Cosmic Metaphor Ice. Leap. Cosmic the Ice looks amazing. The reasoning for it not being ice, by the way, is that... So what apparently is ice is just frozen water, but frozen or freezing doesn't necessarily equal that it's being frozen by from from uh, from water. So they were saying that stasis is the freezing of other things. Ice is just yeah. freezing. So of water. where exactly? What if we went with cosmic chill? <laughs> no, cosmic ice. Cosmic ice is what it is. Okay. Okay. All right. Cosmic yeah. chill <laughs> is a great strain probably cosmic chill sounds like a marijuana strain cosmic ice definitely sounds like a harder drug that might get you addicted and <laughs> really bad <laughs> 20 years in prison or something you know anyways sounds like an epidemic cosmic waiting ice. to happen <laughs> not even once <laughs> <laughs> don't even do it once you will become a zombie in the future slinging space magic it is oh my god cosmic ice uh, uh you're freezing space magic by yeah, the way wait. yeah so you're freezing the air no, 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 no. Listen to this. Light? You're trying to explain some actual <laughs> physics behind this when there's space magic in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Thus the cosmic. Exactly. There's space yeah, magic. Hence cosmic ice. Yeah, there's <laughs> the darkness <laughs> and the trap. Like, you know, you, you could say yeah, we're, we're not putting this much thought into like void. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like we really have to dig down into <laughs> what is or is not ice for yeah. stasis. So. Like, well, technically there's a lack of H2O in some of these you properties of methane, things, you know. But it's not water. I know, Griffin was very passionate about it. And I got <laughs> accused of failing chemistry 101. It was a whole thing. So <laughs> I, very serious business. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's always really serious business. Yeah. <laughs> so we did see, we saw, you know, the trailer. There was also some other stuff, right, that came out after the conference. I think it was on their, um, uh, on their like press site, right? Or there's like it was it was kind of weird footage. I saw a bunch of YouTubers kind of put it out there, uh, but there was no there was no music on it, so it sounded like eerily silent. Did you guys see any of that footage? Yeah, from the press case, ice yeah. crack noises. Yeah. Oh, the sound design. Mm, yeah. It's very, yeah, it's happy. very cool. So happy there's actually not other things going on. No background music, nothing. It's just the effects because those ice effects are really good. Crispy, yeah, sharp. Go take a listen. It is really, really good work they did on that. Aside from the cosmic ice, like right at the get go of that trailer, I gotta say, like this kind of like vaporwave aesthetic they've got going on Mm -hmm. at the like probably the first like I don't know third of that trailer was like very appealing to me. Yeah, I thought it looked really good. And then they go into some. They show a little bit of, is it Europa? Am I saying yes. that right? They show <laughs> yes. a little bit of Europa. That looks really good. And that brings up like, you know, if, you, if you've been following Destiny for a while, you'll, you'll have seen like the uh, art from, you know, way back where they showed like the Ice City. Mm-hmm. And like that brings up feelings. And then they, sh- they showed some caves. And the caves we've seen before kind of, but it looks way cooler, like with Guardians in it. Like it all lit up, like really, yeah, very chill. <laughs> ice down. <laughs> so many yeah, ice puns yeah. for the next very, six months. <laughs> yeah. <cheers>. Just... <laughs> um, I, I mean, as as usual, Bungie's environmental artists just knock it out of the park. They knock it out of the park yeah. basically every time they they yep. touch a computer, as far as I can tell. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we saw some supers. We saw some abilities. We saw um, what was it? Let me bring up the twab because I think it actually has the, the names. names of them. Uh, but we saw the hunter, Revenant. the warlock. Yes, for yep. the hunter. Which is Revenant. the coolest name? Obviously, the coolest. <laughs> the warlock was like it is kind of the coolest. Split, split spinal or something. Like shade harbinger. Shade, shade bringer. Is that it? Shade spinner. The warlock shade. was called Harbitch. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Wait, I wrote, you... I wrote, I literally wrote an article about this. Okay, Shade Binder, <laughs> Shade Revenant, Binder. Shade Binder. That's pretty. Shade cool. bitch. Behemoth is a cool name. <laughs> Shade Behemoth is cool, and the Titan does look pretty dope when it's like fully. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Iced iced out, out. You know. Like. I'm gonna tell you that, something that... very disappointing. <laughs> yeah. The warlock was looking kind of cool. That the is ice, very disappointing. The ice Until you realize <laughs> that's you frozen me? urine. But did you see they put the rift down and it froze things and that it was yeah, it did. Rift. Yeah. 
So they're like changing that. the way the riff works. With they haven't done that before. It's just been like you know you pick that's true. Yeah, like, your riff. This is like making it be an offensive thing. Maybe you can stop all those shotgun r- brushes. You just throw down your riff, Ooh. freeze them. Oh, the warlock staff too has this like nunchuck pass kind of thing going on right now <laughs> yeah. that I kind of yeah. dig. That is really yeah, cool. Shockwave that shatters everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we we also learned that shattering is in itself a weapon because the shards from shattered enemies can hit other enemies, so it can be like a chain effect. Isn't that cool? Oh, really? Yeah. Can they also would... freeze an enemy, or are they just damage? I don't know. I think it's just damage, but um, that's what that's just what it says in the little shard section. On Twitter, you were asking, and I, I was kind of watching to see if anybody's going to reply about like w- if you freeze somebody, are they dead right then? And then like shattering them is just kind of like for for fun. Yeah, or I think are so. you like frozen? Yeah. Well, because literally what it says is freeze. A frozen foe is, is a conquered foe. Control the battle by immobilizing enemies in solid stasis. That to me kind of implies that like if you freeze an enemy like solid, they're dead. And then you okay. can use their body and explode it to hit other enemies. But like, if you get frozen in Crucible, you're not just going to be like alive in the back corner, like stuck there for like yeah, you like, know ten seconds. I think you'll just be good, dead. That's yeah. really annoying. That would suck. I am, I am wondering about all the freezing it, stuff in Crucible, but <laughs> either that or it's uh, like in Crucible, you're frozen for a really short amount of time. That have to make it super short. So where like yes, you can follow up and do something, but you have to be positioned properly to mm. capitalize on it. But yeah. that makes sense, though. If you're essentially dead once you're frozen, like, yeah. and then w- what your enemy does with your body could possibly like is also do up to them. area of effect damage illegal. to other people. It's illegal. Well, and I assume I assume it'll be harder for <laughs> <Ice> like romancy. <laughs> I assume it'll be harder for PVE enemies to like freeze you solid and kill you. Like like so the fallen are gonna have stasis abilities, but yeah. I I wouldn't imagine they're just gonna be like insta wiping you with stasis. But yeah, we'll yeah. See. How yeah, I, I can imagine a raid like all six people are just like standing there frozen. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a white mechanic, like something shoots out an AOE wave freezes. that just freezes yeah. everyone solid or something. That yeah. seems likely. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. Uh, and then the third thing is stasis field. Even the odds by slowing your enemies in stasis fields, then aim down sights at your next target. So that's like Wait. some sort of big bubble looking thing. I think it, it might be from a grenade. I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah is is it gonna feel like the fallen's like big annoying arc web thing that pops out of bombs? Because that is what I was like thinking of, be. which I would hate. But it freezes you. <laughs> in, we yeah, saw it used in oh Crucible God. in a clip, and it was a hunter that threw the grenade, and it's just this big bubble. And when people stand in it for too long, I assume they get frozen. And then he threw knives off the wall that yeah, hit bounced them. Him. Ricocheted onto the wall, yeah. So, yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah, I wonder how that works. I mean, it might it might work kind of like smoke, I guess, where mm. it's just like an area of effect disable move. I the whole all the subclasses feel like a lot of CC, uh, as opposed to just like flat damage. Like it's all about slowing and freezing and controlling and stuff like that. So it's kind of an interesting spin on a class we haven't really had before because we don't have a ton of CC in the game right now. Nope. No. Yeah. Do you, do you think there's a meter I, I get, to proc the ice? Do you think what? There's going to be like a meter, like a build-up meter to proc the ice? Or if it's just going to be like, well, it, it might be. It, I wonder if it's like an internal thing. It won't be like, they won't like show it, mm-hmm. like in terms of like what percent someone's frozen. But like like in Borderlands, it's essentially like each gun you have is like a cryo percent. Like something will be 80% cryo, right. something might be 200%. And the higher the percent, the faster you freeze something. So like maybe different abilities have different percents. So like the orb, the AOE orb might take forever to freeze something, mm-hmm. but the the throwing knife, if you hit him with it, is like almost an instant freeze or something. So yeah. it, it it could work like that. The weapons, I don't know how the how cryo or uh stasis weapons are gonna work. That might cryo. be a little cosmic guys. Cosmic cryo. <laughs> cryo. Cosmic <laughs> cryo. <laughs> We are going to be learning a lot more about this very quickly. Like they kind of already said that we'll learn more about the warlock on September first. The Titan on September third, and the Hunter on September eighth. Why well, yeah. such a big wait class. between the Warlock and the Hunter? There's like two days between the the other two. Uh, is it like a weekend? Maybe Bungie's aware it's that Monday's the third. Hunter's the, 8th the best. Is, oh wait, no, that's August. Uh, Thursday's the third, and then the eighth is Tuesday. So that's reset. Yeah. 
Mm, reset. Yeah. They just like Thursday could be the, the swap, and then reset could be the new reveal. I don't know. Yeah. Glorious uh, hunter the tit- lifestyle. The Titan looks phenomenal as well. I really like the furry collar and the snowshoes, like with the metal <laughs> snowshoes that he's wearing. I like the hilarious. snow booties. Um, <laughs> snow booties with fur on the outside, even though he's wearing like insulated space boots in yeah. like negative 200 degree weather. I like that. It looks cool it. though. No, I, I like him too. Yeah, you have all this like insulated outerwear, but at the same time, you're slinging ice, cosmic ice. You're actually freezing things. Do you? Do they have to wear that armor because of how much ice is coming out of them? Mm, protect from the shattering. Question. Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, know. what are the thermal properties of? They're only on? showing. They're only showing one set right now, and we got to keep in mind there's going to yeah. be at least three or four. I think. So what there's going to be the one. The one we're seeing, which is the destination set, a raid set, an eververse set that is either in eververse or taken out, like they did with prophecy, and then a battle pass set, and then and then they're doing a set for a vendor refresh for the the shared set between Crucible. Yeah, uh, Vanguard and, and Gambit. So that's five. Like I think at minimum, which seems crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll cut one somewhere, but they're only showing one. Yeah, at least for now. I just think Guardians are faking it. They're not cold. They don't need none of that. Well, they're they're undead anyway. So aren't they like right? The Drifter told all the horror stories about freezing to death and starving to death and like being resurrected just over and over again. <laughs> but put so, on a big furry coat. It, but <laughs> it wouldn't be fun. Yeah. Uh, I. What did you guys think about the Titans kind of super attack? That kind of it, it, to me, it looked a lot like just kind of a standard Titan smash, but it has like the ice kind of mm-hmm. flow out in three directions. Well, uh, it flows out, and then it also creates like pillars, right? They just stay yeah, it's like glaciers that yeah come up from the earth. Yeah, I can't tell if that like hits things or if that's just like a cool visual thing. Was it? Yeah, it did. Look, it did look uh, a lot like the Thunder Crash. So yeah. Well, like different animations, but like in practice, like you're running around, you're doing a shoulder charge, you're doing a slam, kind of similar. Um, I, we'll see if it feels different, but well, we can see the, the similarities. Um, wasn't the Arc Titan in D1 did did like a, I can't remember, it was like a shockwave, right? Yeah, it was a shockwave, right? You could arc slam shockwave. Where oh, yeah, out in front that of you. was yeah. one, of the, one of the perks. Yeah, so it's kind of like they brought some of that with those pillar, the way it feels. But it looks like you have a pretty long amount of time to do that. So it's not like you get like one slam. It's almost like um, bottom tree arc striker. Yeah, that's that's what I thought it was like, too. Yeah. And then, well, they, they I saw something on Twitter about the it said like the melee attack is like the craziest melee attack they've ever yeah. done for that class. So that's cool. I don't know. Yeah. what We kind of saw in the trailer. It just it sort of just looked like the, the Superman Titan slam into the ground. But maybe I don't know. Maybe there's more to it than that i mean it freezes so that's good but yeah yeah it's interesting that they said that because that obviously means that it's very different from what we've seen before um so yeah whatever the melee is it's the craziest melee ability we've ever built <laughs> so high bar it's gonna yeah. one shot the entire team every time it's charged <laughs> Some, something will be broken when stasis launches like you know there will be like one oh, yeah. thing that redeem discovers in like the first 30 seconds of the expansion. Yeah, I just hope I figure it like, out. God, sorry, we disabled stasis. Like, yeah, check back in two weeks. <laughs> uh, the hunter looks awesome. I love the two size that he's carrying. Like, kind of instead of hunter knives, he's got these like kind of mini size. He can and throw he, them. Yeah, he can throw them. He does this kind of slam that reminds me of a like a like a warlock put down his staff. You know, when he's doing a pool. It's kind of a cool looking move. Um, How dare you, bro? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I, I thought it looked really cool. Like throwing the size around looks really awesome. His that kind of combo they showed in the hallway in PvP, where he he, he tosses the I don't know if it's a freeze grenade, and then he tosses the knives mm-hmm. and shatters the people. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a it was a cool combo. I don't know how effective it'll be, you know, in, in real life, but it yeah. looks awesome. Looks badass. It looked like climbing picks, ice climbing. Yeah, yeah. it does. Okay, yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. I'm interested about that super because yeah, we've seen so we we've seen the gameplay trailer um, in the press kit where they threw both knives, so throw one mm-hmm. well, ice picks and then threw the other. But then we also have images of them, like you said, slamming it down into the ground. 
And that is like their super melee weapon. Their like regular melee weapon looks different. So it makes me wonder if you have the option of using the super in different ways. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder if it works like Blade Dancer. And then if you want, you can throw the axe for like a big damage attack or something like near the end of it or something, which is yeah. would be pretty cool. And, and unlike anything it has now. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or you could see something as like if you're in the air, then it does like a slam AOE type of thing. But if you're on the ground, you have like a big swipe or a single throw chuck type of thing. Well, this is my other question is, is we don't know how it's going to work with like the tree system yet. Because like right now we have the three branches and we, we were told that it's probably not going to work like that. And it's going to be laid out and unlocked and distributed in some True, new, yeah. more RPG-ish way. So it's like are there three versions of the super or is it one super that does three things like depending on what you upgrade. So I, I think there's still questions about how exactly that's going to work. And I, I wouldn't be surprised to see like, okay, well in this version of Revenant, you could throw the axes in this version, you do the slam move, like, but you can't pick all of them at the same time. Or whatever. That's a good point. Yeah. I can see that. Mm. Yeah. That's kind of how I hope it is. Like, I hope it's kind of, you know, you just pick and choose what you want out of that. Instead of having to be locked in. Mm -hmm. Man, when you said this version of Revenant, I was like, damn, that's such a cool name for a super. Sure is. I really like how when you when you pop your super to you like get covered in ice. Yeah. Like that's very cool. Crystallize in cosmic ice. Yeah, it's your it's your damage protection. They like actually (laughs) built it into the super now. And the actual super is called Silence and Squall. Hmm. It's very poetic. It's very long. <laughs> what am I going to say? Pop your. I'm not going to say that. I got. I got my. Got my SS. Got okay, yeah, SS I got, up. I got SS. SS move. Yeah. <laughs> silence and squall. <laughs> Pop your silence and squall right now. I guess maybe they named each axe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. This is silence. This is squall. Yeah. Okay. I got cooler when you said that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling that. <laughs> And then just just skip the warlocks. You know you don't want to talk about the warlocks. <laughs> you know they're <laughs> pissing and the, everywhere. And the ice staff. <laughs> I actually got. I, I feel like we got the the least amount of time looking at that one uh, in, yeah. in any of the footage. It's it's an ice staff. It shoots ice projectiles. That's kind of all I know about it. Is it a first person weapon? That's what I can't. Well, it's mm. figure out right? about it's, it when they use the the scythe to kind of. It looked like that might be their melee attack. Which is very weird because he just he was playing normally and then he just whipped out the the staff for like a second and put it away, which visually looks like a a melee more than a super. So uh yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, if there's a third person like that's fun normal super where it's roaming, and then if the melee attack is just like whipping out the staff for a second to shoot something and then like yeah putting it away, could it be like the hunter throwing knife where it just is like a yeah secondary melee function? Yeah. Or arc staff, cool. alternate yeah. arc staff where you do the uppercut. Yeah, yeah. Mm, could yeah. be something like that's that. Good point. Although good I, one. I really would like the idea of them doing something that's more than just like here's the time you have your super. It's more like chunking down the super energy as you use it for various things. I think that'd be really cool mm-hmm. and would open up the game a bit beyond where it currently is. Um, Zero V7 actually said in chat, which is if you've played Anthem, you totally get this. But he said that uh, Nade is the primer and Melee is the detonator, which it kind of is. Mm-hmm. Like the grenades, you know, they put up that that stasis field and it freezes and then the Melee can shatter everything. Yeah, no, that, that's a really good point. I think this whole system is is primer detonator. Like, yeah, it might it might have to do the weapons, too. But like it's the whole concept of freezing and shattering is going to be kind of unlike anything we've seen. And that was actually something Anthem did very well, surprisingly. Uh, that was yeah. a good idea. So, and I, I think that was in Mass Effect even before that. So maybe maybe Bungie borrowed that because it was a good idea. Um, so I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm curious to see what else is like a, a primer and a, a trigger. Yeah, when I saw the Hunter footage throwing the nade and then the, the knife bounced off the wall and hit him, I assumed it was kind of like that. Freeze him and then detonate him. You know, yeah. instead of like an actual meter to charge up. But I mean, I like the idea of an actual ice meter that gets to a point where they hit critical mass. That'd be cool, too. But a primer detonator type of thing in Destiny would be really interesting. They did also show, though, that like someone was frozen and then they just like hit him with a sniper and they just right. blew up. Shattered. So, yeah. may, I mean, a may, maybe you can just straight up do it with gunfire if something's frozen, which mm-hmm. 
would be a little easier than a specific detonator skill or whatever. But maybe there's a perk on weapons. It's gonna be a seasonal mod. Like, ah, uh, here's what's a detonator <laughs> this season. Oh, Sidearms no. only. Like <laughs> <laughs> I could see them doing that though if they put like if yeah. it is a de uh, primer detonating detonation type of system, and have a weapon perk that is dedicated towards that. I could see that. I like yeah. that system in Anthem because it it's set up for good builds. Like you could, you know, you had to think about like, all right, I, I want this gun to be my primer. I want this, or I want this ability to be my primer. I want this gun to be my, you know, you know, to finish it off. I I really like that about mm -hmm. Anthem. Yeah, yeah, One it, it worked really well in Anthem. Like, it's you know, very satisfying when you like got a good build and then like there were some exotics and anthem or legendaries that were like one one rocket becomes a primer and the other is a detonator so you were just constantly triggering it like there's a lot of cool yeah. stuff you can do with that so yeah. i that they could expand that beyond stasis honestly into other types of effects yep but i guess they'll probably start there yeah it's really cool this is going to switch up a lot of things i'm very excited it's yeah. it's kind of all stuff that we haven't really had in destiny before yeah so they yeah. they said that they were going to just be focusing on cosmic guys for uh, Beyond Light, and the seeing this, and if they do go down the path of like a primer detonator or some sort of build up charge type of thing, I can't wait to see the rework of the other elements like solar and arc and all that and void, because naturally yeah. those would get some sort of RPG esque element built in or um, mechanic built into those elements, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe mm -hmm. that's something that they'll work on over time is kind of RPG ifying all of the supers. Yeah. All the classes. With each like big release, just like, all right, the rework of solar. Yeah, that it definitely seems like the, you know, talking about the primer detonator thing, based on their website, they do specifically say, you know, this is the freezing part and then this is the shattering part. So mm -hmm. it does seem that that's kind of a thing that they're going for. Yeah. Really cool. I'm excited. Yeah. It makes the element like actually do something other than <laughs> just like matchy matchy to shields, you know. Make yeah. it feel that's like how it should be. Element. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of my uh, biggest criticisms that I've had in Destiny for the longest time is that the elements don't really feel like elements unless you're throwing a grenade. Yeah, there's like a couple burn effects, mm -hmm. but like it's it's barely anything. I mean, it could be a lot more. And there's like some chain lightning. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> <Settle> down. <laughs> uh, Corgi on the run. No, no one's chasing her. She's she's li we're literally home by ourselves. <laughs> just just doing that. It's adorable. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, there's like chain lightning and stuff. So like we, we're getting glimpses of that and like Trinity Ghoul now it's like mm -hmm. lightning effects and stuff like that. Yeah. But I, I definitely think they could take that even further than they have. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Instead of being it built into just the weapon itself, you want it to be in the sandbox to have like the potential yeah. of constructing this build that could do all these crazy things. It seems like there's going to be that build essence uh, for for Cosmic Ice, which makes me very excited. I can't wait. It's just going to be in November. Ugh. So August. <laughs> Is it still August? Uh. Yeah. We do have quite a, that's quite a ways to go. You know, when they initially said it, I was like, okay, it's not too much further out from the original date. It's really far away from where we are right now. Right? That's and then that, so that week, like seven other games come out. It's like oh, Call yeah. of Duty, Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed. That new Call of Duty so looks good. World of Warcraft too. is coming yeah. at the end of September. So if you're into WoW, like you are not going to get through that before all these games launch. There's no possible way. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Is there going to be any other um, Destiny stuff at Gamescom? Because Gamescom is going on through yeah. today's Thursday. It's going on through Sunday. I heard there might be an interview, I think Saturday, but it's. I, I heard that there's not going to be any like spanking new information from that it might just be kind of going over what we we learned about stasis already um, yeah i mean i'll still watch they, it just they in just case, alliterate but... more about like yeah. what we saw and it, it clears things up maybe they can I'll have like a that. 30 minute vidoc on why stasis is stasis and not just ice <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just, yeah. it's griffin talking at the camera for 30 minutes about stands there with bill not a science guy and explains ice <laughs> yeah so apparently it's a 15 minute interview so okay, we didn't, okay. can't expect it to be super long uh, uh that's or, okay though that's it's, that's it's not a bad. good junk I'll yeah watch i don't it. i don't know, do how know much what time, time it is i forgot apparently 245 who knows Two. what time zone that is probably ours go with maybe Eastern. Eastern. Who knows? Somewhere. 245 Eastern. uk time uk time <laughs> you can't do that math 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody get Eric's on the phone. Something about uh, Greenwich, <laughs> Greenwich, something Greenwich time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're ahead. I can't do this. <laughs> you just gotta Google it, right? Yeah. Seven forty-five. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not bad. A.M. P.M. Actually, wouldn't it be P- six P.M. Right? Forty-five. No, it'd be A.M. A.M. Yeah. Right. Welcome. No, no, they're ahead. They're ahead because yeah. California's behind. <laughs> oh, are so they doing? Ahead. Oh, they're doing it in the wait. Are they doing that at two? No, because they can't be doing two forty-five in the morning. That that can't happen. It well, that would be actually be most convenient for me. <laughs> <laughs> Same. This, this is great. The UK is eight hours ahead of us on the east, eight. on the west coast. Yeah. So eight. ten. Because my mom. Forty-five p.m. <laughs> no, you're going the wrong way. No. They're ahead of us. <laughs> so if it's two forty-five in the afternoon, it's going to be like six. A.M. Oh, oh, it's even worse. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so happy to have gone through that rabbit hole. It's not bad for you. If you're, on the, if you're on the East Coast, it's obviously it's, that's three hours <laughs> ahead of Pacific time. So that's not as bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not that's not as bad. I kind of like what Gamescom is doing. Like, they're, they're kind of doing the show, right? It's like, obviously, you can't have everybody yeah. there. You know, social distancing is a thing. Right. We're all going to die, probably. Um but they're still having the show, you know, like they're showing things. Jeff Keeley's out on doing like kind of like a fake stage thing. I, you know, I watched most of that show today and there's some pretty good stuff in there. Stuff I hadn't seen before. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes open for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Did, I mean, is this getting towards the end of the summer reveals? Basically, you know how they said they were going to spread like this it out. The end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Summer games thing he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Then he'll just be like, ah, time for the fall games, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Fall games we'll awards. Going the, until the, the game November. awards. He's this... still doing the game awards, but yeah, I don't. In okay. When are those? January, right? Is it? Yeah. December, I mean, they'll January? all be virtual. I'm assuming, but yeah. My favorite thing of the show today was they kept giving out awards to games, like yeah, just periodically, like some games that are out, some games that are just like trailers. I did not yeah. know what was going on. But. Yeah, the best <laughs> PS5 game. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my PS5 and where's my game? Then I'll... Hey, What's speaking of PS5, game? did you get the email? No. I got the email that I could sign up for the email for the email for the email group for get the sign the email up. email to let you know about the email. I signed up. About the sign up to get the pre-order. But I didn't get a confirmation email. Wait, you're I supposed to get a confirmation? Out. I didn't get a confirmation. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? I need I need some uh, explanation. All right. I all the PS5s special, are sold out, Briar. Site. I'm so sorry. You should have woke up. It's like it. a pocket all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so who's there's, a site, email? there's a site you put in your PSN, and they will maybe tell you if you're, if once pre, pre-sales go on sale, and like you might get one through that. And I, I looked oh. at the rules, and it's like, we will look at this depending on like your past history and like PlayStation usage. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, That's not gonna do I need good. like X platinum <laughs> trophies or something? Like, I didn't I think they were like actual platinum criteria. games. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. The one time I actually wish I'd platinum something. You can right? still. Do I assume it's so people like don't money. like resell them if they're just like burner accounts or something. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, they want people yeah. who are actual players. They'll see mm-hmm. my love for Bloodborne and Ghost of Tsushima and previous Destiny history. You know, yeah, I've been playing Neo 2, Ghost of Tsushima, so I've been on there a little bit. Played Fall Guys on there because it was free. Mm-hmm. So, Plus I, Fall I've been, Guys. I've been on there. Right. All right. If anybody doesn't know about this, I just found it and I just signed up while we were having this conversation. It's <laughs> literally all you have to do is go to like Google PlayStation pre order and it's the first thing on the list. It's like PlayStation 5. Direct pre-orders. You put in your PSN ID. Did my article. And come that's up? all you got to do. Damn it, Google. <laughs> Damn you, SEO. <laughs> I'm not even on the first page. What the hell? Okay. Well, uh, I screwed that one up somehow. I I got mine <laughs> via email. It just showed up in my email. It was like, it was like, yeah. hey, Psst, Tefty, <laughs> you want in on this PS5 pre-order business? Do you want to know when the pre-orders are potentially be on a list for pre-orders when they're alive and then we'll let you know when you can order them to maybe get a chance well, of winning one? <laughs> when, the, when the truck shows up in the back, you might want to win an opportunity to spend $500 on our new thing. Shut it's up and crazy. take my money. It's crazy we don't know how much they cost and when they come out and it's like four days until September. 
Yeah, like, I still don't nuts. even know if I'm gonna buy both of them. Like, I, I, I honestly have no idea. Like, what I was been to the couch. Buying, you, you were was, so, you were totally so planning sure about buying man. a PlayStation Five and an Xbox Four, like for sure. Yeah. And then Halo got delayed, so I started thinking, like, wait a minute, what is gonna be on the Xbox Four at launch? And I'm like, oh, nothing. Fall guys, they're not gonna have anything. <laughs> Fall guys, beyond yeah, light on the Battle Pass. Or not bad. Game Pass. <laughs> yeah, but I can that's do that it. on PlayStation Five as well. Yeah. Uh, no, see, it's they really argument. don't have any launch games. Like it's yeah, it's yeah kind of wild. Yeah. So, like they're going to be trying to sell a five or six hundred dollar console, depending on who you believe. With nothing, no. And you, I'll tell you what. And you just all. spent fifteen hundred bucks on a thirty ninety. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe <laughs> I'll end up buying and an also, Xbox Fuller. Because the bad news on that thirty ninety. They didn't get the email about the email and signups. <laughs> so you just, Microsoft default to the Xbox plan. Just get PS five to sell out, and yeah. then they'll start selling Series X's. Perfect. Yeah. When Nvidia Nvidia <sighs> talked about the twenty eighty Ti, they announced that at a thousand bucks. You find if you've ever found one of those for a thousand bucks, you're the luckiest person on the planet. That thing started at thirteen hundred dollars. So Nvidia saying, and that's just a rumor that it's going to be thirteen ninety nine. But even if Nvidia announces at thirteen ninety nine, good luck. Good luck on finding someone <laughs> to take your money for that graphics card. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that even if they announce it's at 1399, that's like that's a fantasy as far as the, like what happened last time. You know, the 2080 Ti was 1399. I think I'm just going to get a 3080. Cuz hey, I said I was like if it's over 1200 bucks I'm probably Amazing how fast you can lose respect for somebody, you know, like just <laughs> like that. I've been saying that if it's over twelve hundred dollars, I'm going to have serious adult like financial. Mm, I don't know, <laughs> you know, and it's clearly going to be way over twelve hundred. So, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to settle for a thirty eighty because I'm I'm still rocking the ten eighty Ti. I got the twenty eighty Ti, so I'm like a generation newer than that. And I'm thinking, eh, I don't know if I'm going to buy a thirty ninety. Jesus. You know what I might buy though? I thought you were a trust fund. I'm baby. wondering. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if there's going to be any uh, streaming benefits to the next generation of NVIDIA cards. You know how like we got like oh, that right. really cool. I, I can't remember what it's called, In Sync or whatever. Yeah, for streaming. Uh, Voice activated OBS scene switching built into the graphics card. <laughs> Alexa is inside OBS <laughs> for the 3080. Nvidia, I don't know if I love that. Alexa, stop it. Yeah. Based on my prior history with voice activated anything, I don't know if I'm really into that. <laughs> Alexa, throw the Molotov cocktail. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good. Uh, is there anything else, Destiny, that we got to get into? Uh, they had a swab. I feel like the TWAB was a recap, though. Did I miss anything in the TWAB? They are buffing elemental glows on the Eververse armor. They are, That's yeah. The biggest Thank thing God. from the TWAB. That is the biggest thing. I'm excited about that because, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, you had your full super. It was pretty obvious, but even then, still not as insane as the one in the Eververse store because it looks like the one in the Eververse store has the same kind of glow as the white glow because the white glow is actually like a lot it's more very visible. good. Yeah. yeah, really, really good. So I'm I'm so glad they're doing that. Because when I didn't have my super, I was like, I can't freaking see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, how has Solstice been? Yeah, we got to catch Tefty up. I haven't uh, played I it at all. I, fin I finished in four days and didn't do anything else with it. Do I, Can I? Let's see. I, I'm planning on coming back to streaming on Monday. All right. And my schedule is going to return on this, this coming Monday. So mm -hmm. the only problem is I believe early access for the Marvel's game it starts the, the first. following day. Can I get all of Solstice mm -hmm. done in one day? For a hunter? Sure. Maybe. I, is this is it still triple progress for everything? Like, I, I don't know what they ended up with. Like I thought they just buffed everything to be like triple progress. Yeah. But if if that's true, probably, yeah. Because like once you're on triple progress, even the last step is like two crucible games, two strikes, and like three games of gambit total. Like it's it's really nothing. All so right. I, I think it's it's doable. Okay. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's it's doable. Right. Yeah. Because oh, initially, the armor is cool. The armor is oh, cool, yeah. and you can actually farm high stat versions of it pretty easily in the EAZ. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which, if I get bored of adventures, maybe I'll start doing that. But 
See, before yeah. I went on vacation, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that stuff when I get done. When I, or when I get back, I'm going to knock all that stuff out. Then two weeks of me being on vacation has just massaged the FOMO out of my brain. Just, <laughs> mm, I'm like, like, you know, I don't mm, All three characters? I don't know if I need it for all three characters. Maybe just my hunter. I don't know. It's just a cool set. I mean, and there's going to be, as I said, like four more sets in November that you're going to be getting. So it's probably not the biggest of deals. Right. It's going to be super chilly come November with all those icy tundra sets. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to have to wear your fur coat because every time you pop your super, it's super chilly out. Snowshoes. Mm. Snowshoes, snow boots, methane. Everything smells like backpacks. Yeah. <laughs> but don't you want those shiny white horns, Tefty? Hmm. Cool. Like a cosmic bull? <laughs> cosmic <Coffee>. everything. <laughs> <laughs> cosmic glow. There is. They're, they are doing a special... Actually, well, that's for the Eververse one, but they're doing a stasis glow after the fact. Yeah, do you want a stasis glow? Oh, that's true, yeah. You just have to buy the ornaments for that one. But. You can get that done in a day for sure. Like you yeah. can get to that part to get the ornaments in a day, 100%. You can do okay. it in like a couple hours. You can have the privilege of paying $45 <laughs> for three elemental sets. That's how much it costs, 45 bucks? 45 or 18,000 bright dusts, which I did. But, uh, I'm a bright dust baller, so I'm good. Yeah, I think I only like, have. You do all the money 15, that I spent in Eververse, but I then deleted the items. To yeah, get I'm not gonna. T- I'm not gonna talk about how I spent a hundred dollars on the Fortnite Battle Pass this morning because <laughs> it had a bunch of Marvel heroes in it. But mm. I'm not the I best mean, at restraining myself when it comes to <laughs> microtransactions. Those skins do look really cool. And I They're really Fortnite. good. They're really good. They're I, really good. <laughs> I haven't played Fortnite in a long, long time. But when I saw that, yeah. I was like, still not gonna play, but I kind of want those. <laughs> Isn't the that weird how like you can where, see like, you an in-game item? Them. It's very mm-hmm. cool. Isn't it yeah. weird that you can see an in-game item for a game you don't even play and be like, damn, I kinda I kinda want that. <laughs> weird. Yeah. Cause it's like 90s looking X-Men. I mean, which is yeah. super cool looking. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's it's like Pixar X-Men yeah. almost. Like it's it's a very unique style they have. God, wouldn't it's, that be awesome? Yeah, it's just, you know. So no matter what you think about Fortnite, the fact that they are having crossover and the full thing is just like Full on Marvel is absolutely yeah. nuts. Now Marvel. I want a 90s X Men cartoon redone by Pixar. Stat <laughs> on Netflix next week. I would watch that. Yeah, on Disney Plus. Cause... Yeah, you're right. Disney Plus. <laughs> Disney I... owns all of that. <laughs> you could subscribe easily for some Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. We, yeah, we still have ours from The Mandalorian. It's fine. Yeah, yeah that's we literally the only thing of, uh, I watched on it. We keep forgetting. We've watched half of Hamilton on that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we watched Hamilton also on that. Very long. Every, everything's fine in the end. You don't have to finish it. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the last yeah. half. It just goes through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, should we do some Twitter questions? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, before we do, we wanted to uh, take a note to talk about our Patreon, right? Is that what we're doing now? <laughs> Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> DCP Live has a Patreon and helps support the channel and the show and makes things happen and makes all the all the squeaky wheels get oiled with the Patreon. There's hundred percent Briar's butt pics on there. Yeah, Briar has a. That's my OnlyFans. <laughs> Briar's <laughs> OnlyFans peach pics. <laughs> I've got a lot of pictures of my Mister on my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So yeah, the uh, the show is uh, you know it's. It happens because of you guys, and we really appreciate it. So if you are in a position that you want to support the show because uh, you like seeing the episodes happen, then Patreon is the best way. You can also subscribe on Twitch, uh, but also liking and sharing all of our stuff that happens with DCP is a is a good place as well if you want to go a little bit deeper. But, um, yeah, if you're listening on a podcast stream, you know, and if you want to support, you can always go to Podbean forward slash. I know it's a uh, Patreon, <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash DCP Live. Maybe I think so. Yeah, DCP underscore live. Yeah, probably a Google search would be the best way. Okay. Patreon <laughs> DCP underscore live. The, then you know, maybe throw some destiny in there just so that uh, yeah. where they really know what you're looking for. Yeah, we um we're like super professional, <laughs> except for when we need to be professional about things. So. <laughs> Just also saying. when we don't need to be so <laughs> yeah but thank you guys for your support because you yeah we really do appreciate everybody who does possible. help us out yeah. 
Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm bringing up the Twitter questions. Uh, first one is from Skyrim. He says, for Paul, any advice on people wanting to get into writing gaming articles like you? Oh. Fun. Um, yeah, I, I get this a lot. I'd say, I'd say the number one piece of advice I get is to have a body of work built up somewhere. Like, it doesn't have to be, a, like, a site that you got paid for, like a mainstream site, like, just something to reference. Like, it can be your own personal site, but... If I'm judging you for like a potential role, like I need to see something and it's probably better to have something online than like you pasting something into the body of an email. Uh, so I would just build up a somewhat professional looking uh, collection of your work. Hell, I'd even take a long, well formatted Twitter thread if you if you can write well. Like it's and anything is is a good start there. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of the baseline I, I give people. And then there's like 50 more steps, but <laughs> probably don't have time for all of them. Uh, Clifton Ampensa says, "Do you know of any clans that have a focus on being welcome, welcoming to minorities?" Not I hope that I don't know any that don't that <laughs> aren't welcoming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, unfortunately, my faith in the uh, Destiny community has been a bit sh- shaken lately. Frankly, um, well, I, I know that uh, the Dads of Destiny is a very welcoming place. Uh, I know that uh, Resolute is a very welcoming place, but they they're full. Um, you know, anybody in the who's listening, reach out to Clifton Ampensaw. That's his at as well. And uh, if you got a spot open, give him a give him a tweet. Yeah, I, yeah I, was... I was trying to think specifically about like you know clans that really say outwardly that they are for you know like a safe place for minorities or you know, any marginalized group to be and hang out and not worry about stuff. I don't think I know of any of those, but all the clans that I know are incredibly welcoming to everyone. Um, But yeah, I can just echo what Briar said. If you have a clan, you have opening spots and you are a welcoming group of people, reach out. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, You know what? At at us as well. So we know who you are. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I was going to say, though, that like, I don't definitely don't know of any clans that are specifically advertising towards that because i think i guess from the perspective of finding a clan like you, you kind of have to go through a few to see which ones click for you and uh, th- any of them being racist is like a straight up red flag like if you if you run into a clan and they're being racist like well that that clan is just out obviously you know but um like you're gonna it, it's like um it's like friends, you know, you, it takes a little bit to find them. But after you meet some people who you really like, you're going to want to hang out with them. And then you're going to uh, build that that friendship. And that's kind of how the clans technically should work, you know. Yeah. Extended friendships. Uh, Fricado says, who has the best looking stasis subclass and why is it not Bahamut? Bahamut? <laughs> Bahamas? The Bahamas? The Bahamas? <laughs> that's, that's the Titan's <laughs> new solar subclass uh-huh. getting reworked. He, he whips out a cocktail and some pineapple. This sounds <laughs> delicious. <laughs> so, bohemoth. My bad. It's not bohemoth either. <laughs> but, behemoth. But, Bohemian? No. Behemoth. Bahamas? <laughs> Bahamas? I'm tapping out on this question. <laughs> 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 what was the question? What was the... How, how, why is it the, the best? best why is it not oh, the okay. Best or not? Yeah. Well, so the Titan one, they did say that it's the most insane melee ever. So I mean, it's got to win some points for that, right? Yeah. Those those probably... ice axes though, pretty cool. They are pretty cool. I really dig those. The ice throwing stars. And... Yeah, it's tough to beat Revenant. Yeah. Uh, Luke Pebbler says, what's the deal with the opulent looking sniper from the trailer? Hmm. Parting gift from Callus, <laughs> Just in time, beloved replacement. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Love Tassie and the co-host. Yeah, there's Thanks. there's there's some there's some stuff, right? People were tweeting at me, sending me the picture of like the main image for all of these reveals. And they said that you can see the Leviathan in the background of that picture. 
I didn't mm. look super close at it yet, but apparently <laughs> you can see the Leviathan in the background. So someone said, oh, look, you can see the, the Leviathan in the back. Maybe it's going to kind of extend on his story a little bit with Callus. Maybe it's a parting gift from Callus or something like that. I don't know. But it, it definitely, the shape of that sniper looks like Beloved. Basically, exactly. So is it a new Beloved? I don't know what's up with the callus theme stuff. Well, you know? DMG made a weird tweet about like referencing that and then he's like <clears throat> we're not selling any more ornaments in eververse or something so i'm like yeah. so that makes me think maybe it's an earned ornament and if it's earned if it's an earned ornament like maybe it's that pinnacle they were talking about where you can like earn different ornaments for it um because they said they're doing that where like you can earn a, a, a crucible and a vanguard and a gambit ornament i think for the, the whatever they're calling the pinnacle weapon mm -hmm. now i don't know oh, um maybe because I don't, I don't know why he would just bring up ornaments like that well, if it wasn't I, ornament related. I know a lot of people were just asking like, oh, is this just an, an Eververse mm -hmm. ornament for Beloved? So maybe it was him responding to a lot of oh. those kind of tweets where it was like, well, we're not doing ornaments in Eververse anymore. And I it could just be I a new like sniper. It, like It could be a totally. new sniper <laughs> that has the same the same body as Beloved. Because I it would feel pretty weird for them to bring out a new ornament for a sunset weapon. Exactly. Right. And that's kind of no. I don't. Too. I don't think it's. Yeah, it would have to be a new weapon with like a new earned ornament, not something for Beloved. I don't think. Yeah, I just yeah. assumed it was like a, a new sniper that looks similar to Beloved. Different yeah, I think the, the the more the thing that I was more so I just assumed it was a new sniper, which might be totally wrong. But the thing that got me more like, huh, was the callous theme, right? Because the Leviathan is going away, Mirage Menagerie is going away. So I was like, where, what, what's up with the callous theme? Where does that come from? Yeah, good point. I got secure. You can shoot all the pyramids with this. I'm. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, Chuck's, he's, right right Chuck's a bag <laughs> of beloved 2.0s. Yeah. <laughs> Cal is like go. bye before I go here everybody has a god roll just like fell winners but this is a god roll new non-setting beloved 2.0 from Callus. yeah there you go fantastic Thanks, yeah my, my concern definitely was that they brought back beloved and it's you have to go re-get it with the same stuff but it just looks a little bit different with the skin I was definitely concerned a little bit when I saw that I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case it just happens to be that they're using the geometry what if it's a stasis balloon? I mean, they're going to start reprising That'd be cool. some of the old weapons. Like, they will at some point. I don't know if that's yeah. what that is, but I just don't I'm, want it I'm to just be... hoping that they're not going to do it like Gnawing Hunger style now, where it's the yeah. exact same thing with the exact same perks. Yeah, I don't um, want it to be suddenly Beyond Light comes out and it's like, this gun that you just lost is now back. Yeah. Go earn it again. Like, no! Uh, Hollow says, as someone who focuses on PvP... I'm semi anxious to see how the crowd control abilities are going to play out in a game where movement is so fast and prioritized, and people did tend to dislike CC and other shooters. I'm starting to get hero shooter vibes from PvP going forward. Well, so it, I kind of I kind of look at that question, and I almost feel like you kind of answered your own question within the question because you said that the game is like very high mobility. So if that's the fact, then surely that could actually be the counter to a lot of these CC type abilities. Like the grenade isn't going to instantly freeze you. You're going to have to move out of it. And if you have the ability to do that quickly, then I would assume that you can outplay it with your movement. You know what they should do to make resilience relevant? They should insert some sort of like CC reduction into resilience. So like to give people a reason to stack it. So you get frozen... Fewer, you get slowed less, stuff like that. I think that would be cool. Could be a good use of resilience. I'd like that a lot. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll have to see how it plays out. I it, Freezing could, we don't know how it's going to do in PvP. It could freeze for, for just a tiny amount of time. It could be an insta-kill. We, like, we have no idea how any of the freezing works. Um, I'm personally just happy to see Bungie delving more into interesting effects. Because, you know, if you want to have a perfectly balanced PvP game that's everyone's the same and everything's even, that's not really possible in Destiny without making it boring. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to just go exciting and crazy at this point and not try to make things balanced and super fair. Yeah, I, I feel like the game is healthier when it's just crazy and like, 
it's really bad for competitive gameplay, but the game isn't really set up to be competitive. So <laughs> there's no competitive scene anyway. So yeah. Not really. Oh man. Exactly. I think it was cool cool guy. It was either cool guy or Drewski uh tweeting up the list of rules that the competitive Yeah, I saw that. Like tournaments have right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like an encyclopedia. <laughs> Holy smokes, all the stuff no, you can and can't use. No bows or something. It was like no scout rifles. <laughs> no scout rifles no at scout all. Rifles. <laughs> And why no scout rifles? I don't know. Just too OP right now. That's what everyone says. When you sit in the back a... with three scout <laughs> rifles, deadly. It's Vicious. basically just you you use spare benders. This is the loadout that you have to bring into the game, and that's that's it. That's what everybody like, There's no other option. Yeah. That's it. That's if it's, you're gonna ban weird. anything, ban that <laughs> just to make it more interesting. Yeah, that's why like when you watch the super competitive games that have those type of rules, they are less interesting to me because I would prefer to see people using Destiny's builds and all the different exotics and all the different subclasses in an interesting way against each other than yeah. for it to be the same stuff. And that's actually why I'm kind of excited about Stasis because if they lean even more into that, it could lean into that even more where you pick maybe a solo subclass if there's a bunch of Stasis because you can counter it with that. So I'd be way more interested in counters and interesting abilities than just let's just flatten it all out. Yeah. Weird. Flatten. Squished. D flawless is a revenant <laughs> main says, what's the over under on when we'll all start crying for stasis nerfs? He says one one week or two weeks. I'm gonna say uh, one week. Pretty yeah, it'll be quick. Yeah. I'll probably write something about that. <laughs> Maybe the even first the week. first day. <laughs> Depending well, so, on what it is. <laughs> you know, because we'll I assume that the, the chaos and yelling would come mostly from the PvP oriented audience because everyone else will be doing story stuff. So though they won't have jumped yeah. into PvP instantly. And you're not gonna look at stasis in, in PvE and be like nerf it. So it's gonna have to come from PvP. So it's gonna be all of the super hardcore PvP stuff. So I'm gonna say two hours. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> two hours, and they're gonna be like, first time someone gets frozen in a PvP game. They're gonna yes. be like, put it back, Bungie. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, this week in video games says, how would you like to see the subclass skill trees evolve with Stasis coming back in Beyond Light or Stasis coming in Beyond Light? I just want it to be more like Destiny Wooden, where you can just pick and choose what you want instead of having to choose a tree to get, you know, the the you know the the ability that you want i just want to yeah. pick and choose that's kind of how i'm looking at it something like destiny one but better looking yeah aspects of it i i don't care about the old destiny one stuff where they had like the little sliders for like different stats and stuff that that were nodes like i don't think we need those oh, anymore because yeah. of how armor works but definitely mix and matching different skills like if this whole primer detonator thing turns out and if that gets expanded, like it would be, it would be fun to experiment with different sort of skills that are, are primers or detonators for freezing or mm -hmm. whatever else they end up implementing. So that's that's kind of where I'm hoping this goes over time. Yeah. Yeah. Jared Brown says, "Do you see crossplay happening in phases? I have a feeling PC and Xbox will join for forces first. No, just because of what they said." they want to do with crossplay. They said that they want to get crossplay for everyone cuz I think they they might have been able to do Stadia and PC or they might have been able to do something, but then they were just like, you know, we want to have crossplay for everything at once. Everyone all involved. Yeah, makes sense. Just going to be convincing Sony to do it. Yeah. <laughs> As ever. I wouldn't be shocked if they just did it with the new consoles. Like that wouldn't be shocking to me. Like that's the yeah. one of the bonuses when you move to next gen. I just it's it's weird. Like future games now are not even doing like cross save. Like Avengers is coming out, that's not even cross save between platforms. So it's not exactly sprinting in a, a direction to like get everything on shared yeah. platforms. Like there was kind of a big push for that a while ago, but yeah, it seems like it's well, slowed it's just, down a bit. It's such a it's a it's a game selling feature, right? Like if I can mm -hmm. if I can play destiny on you know my computer in the office and my xbox in the living room and i gotta buy two copies to do that i'm okay with buying two copies to do that because it's just so much more convenient for me you know i like i don't understand why every game doesn't shoot for that i can see I, obviously there's got to be like 
technical stuff and it's got to be expensive yeah. to implement that but mm -hmm. man especially with the switch like obviously destiny's not get a switch version but any game that can re release on the switch in a console and on pc and have cross save between them god that's such a nice thing yeah Holid Love says, rank the stasis classes and or supers based on O-penis, no pun intended. <laughs> O-penis? Prior <laughs> 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 picture question just because of that added in. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's it's going to be Hunter, then Titan, then Warlock, right? I think, what is the Warlock's actual super? Staff. I don't know. He's got a staff. 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 Doing... Doing Maybe staff a staff things. infection. Yeah, <laughs> staff <laughs> infections. Are they, are they like beaming at you and freezing you? Are they doing an AOE around them? Are they slamming it? What are they doing There's with There's a staff? slam with an AOE. You can shoot missiles. That's all I've seen. I don't know. Hmm. Just, I just don't know, know enough about it. You shall not pass all over the place. You know what? I bet the Titan's going to be the most OP because they can roam. Yeah, and they can I thought I was walls. thinking too. And, and every time they slam, they put up walls. It's the AOE bad. slam melee freeze thing seems pretty crazy. So. Yeah, I'm going to hate oh, it. Oh, Revenant. No. Revenant. No, Hunters are really. very well balanced <laughs> and constantly fighting the OP classes in this game. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie? The guy fought off a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they named the class after. Clearly. Yeah, bear fights <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> Uh, Parth, how many ice puns are we looking to get before and after Beyond Light's launch? All of them. Exactly Just... 34. Yeah. 34? <laughs> yeah. I'd like 3,400. Okay, we're well, going to go world? hard. Is this the world's ice pun counter? Is it DCPs? Is it personal ice counters? Mm. All of these are more than 34. <laughs> 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 Thirty-four on tonight's show alone. Uh, Emperor Kuma says, "Do you think the abilities and supers in stasis is going to wreak havoc on PvP, or do you think it'll come out balanced enough for players to counter the abilities?" It's going to be super oh, no, it's balanced. Gonna be balanced. It's going to be fun. Though. It's going to be a tightly <laughs> tuned, highly competitive, super, like well balanced sandbox that's going to spark a whole new esports season. It's going to be crazy. You know what stasis I'm say, only though? matches where it's just it's so balanced it is, you can only it is, use stasis and PvP. It's gonna be like that for a while for sure. Anyway, yeah. the thing that I'm concerned about is freezing and then mountain dump. That mountain like tap. stasis stasis alone, whatever, sure, fine, cool. If you stasis, freeze somebody using mountain top and then blow them up, it should permanently shatter their mountain top. Wow. Yes, Break permanently the shatter my want. willingness to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> we need to delete mountaintop. Like seriously, like the only way to balance mountaintop is to delete it. <laughs> it's, there's no, there's yeah. no way around it. It's mm. just fundamentally too good. In the, it's a, it's a rocket. It's a rocket grenade launcher. It's insane. Yeah, this sounds like a movie where someone infiltrates Bungie Studios. They get a team together, you know, infiltrate Bungie <laughs> huh? Studios, delete mountaintop, and they're like, what happened? I don't know, huh? I'll I'll say this now. I bet you they nerf it. Like I know it's being sunset, but I I yeah. still think they're going to nerf it. Honestly, with Beyond Light, how so? I'd be surprised if they didn't. Oh, one two three says should Bungie add PvP ranks similar to Halo Two? I love the competitive spirit of matching with similarly ranked players that were visually represented by a number. I mean, their ranked playlist could definitely be a lot better. You could have placement matches. You could have tiers. You know, bronze one two three four five. You could have rewards for reaching different tiers. Cosmetic rewards. It's kind of like levels. the basic. Yeah. 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 It's really kind of just the basic thing. You still you get matched with people of your skill level, but um, it it could be better. Yeah. As imbalanced as the game is, I still think that would be cool to have in yes, there. Just not definitely. the main focus of PvP. Yeah. The Halo system, it it drove you to get better because you wanted to get a higher, higher yeah. number. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't want any like bounties or quest steps that require you to go through. Oh God, <laughs> the ranks must be rank five. Like, <laughs> reach the the halfway through. Like people are gonna absolutely hate that. They need to just make sure they don't do that to quest steps and keep ranked ranked for the sake of rank with the cosmetics, if it ever happens. 
Uh, Sean says, do you think the upgrade for next-gen consoles is enough to justify a console purchase for a primarily DT player? I imagine yes. there are a lot of folks still playing on base. Absolutely. 60 FPS. Load times. Load, load times. times. Oh if you God. don't have an SSD now, like it'll be miles apart. Yeah. I mean, even if you do, it's it, that alone for me is, is the ticket. I never put an SSD in my PlayStation. Did that make a big difference in Destiny? Yeah, the big the biggest difference is menu lag because like it, I had to get it. It it was becoming unplayable with the amount of menu lag on PS4. So it helped it like put it cut load times in half, and then menu lag is essentially gone. So oh, I mean, it's good. still not it's still not as good as PC, but it is way better than it was. And then I that's assume PS5 good. will be even better than that. So PS5 is going to be amazing for load times. Uh, I heard it'll cook a steak faster than George Foreman Grill. <laughs> what do I pre-order? It's big enough to, yeah. <laughs> Send me the email, email, Sony. I, I need the email, <laughs> damn it. Send me the email. Re- refresh the inbox. <laughs> uh, Deflaw- Flawless is... Oh, I already asked that one. Doughboy says, was the bright dust amount reasonable for the purchase of Solstice ornaments? I started Solstice with less than a thousand bright dust, and I'm one set of weekly bounties away from getting my third set. Oh, wow. Jeez. Seems like that's great then. Yeah, right? well, seems like that's reasonable. <laughs> seems designed to be that way. Yeah. Seems great. Uh, Ringo the Dingo says so. Seeing the new gameplay trailer, Stasis. I think when he says Stasis, he means um, Cosmic Eyes. Cosmic Eyes. Thank you. Obviously. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up. So, I was a bit confused. So yeah. seeing the new gameplay trailer, Cosmic Eyes kind of looks like ice. If Cosmic <laughs> Ice was an ice cream flavor. What would it taste like? Oh, we were kind of asking each other this before. What would cosmic yeah. ice taste like? Because it's like this kind of dark, crystally blue looking color. I said blueberry and menthol. Mm. Okay. I'm thinking that is the color. That is <laughs> that. I'm thinking like a licorice. Oh, oh interesting. Like that. a black licorice? Yeah. Ice cream. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I've never had black licorice ice cream. Neither have I. I'm definitely willing to try. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? <laughs> Should I don't be. Know. It's got to be like 36 flavors. Super, it's got to not be super duper sweet, right? Stasis yeah. doesn't look like it's going to be super sweet. Hmm. So, like bark, but ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Earl Grey tea. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd eat that. Maybe that sounds good, tea. actually. <laughs> tea flavored ice cream. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Earl Grey tea. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sam says, what is the coolest uh, slash your favorite video game weapon? Oh. Wow. Whoa. That's a tough one. Uh, so many. The shotgun from the original Doom and Doom 2. The double barrel shotgun from Doom 2 might be it. Pretty badass. Halo you know, BR? I don't know. I think mm, that was pretty good. In the latest God of War, when it's so I feel like there's a difference between your favorite versus like the experience you got from using it. And I'm going with the experience I got. When you're playing God of War and you think you had the axe the whole time, and then suddenly you got the the chains in that moment. Well, I was just gonna say the axe, because the axe was so good. The axe was amazing, <laughs> it was, but suddenly yeah. you had the chains and it was like all the whole set. Mm was a part of it like that that blew my mind and nobody had spoiled it for me in chat so that was really cool thanks chat that game was getting like pushback like <laughs> oh that, that game wasn't as good as you thought it was I'm like i don't yeah, know that game was really people people my smoke, favorite game of the generation <laughs> yeah people yeah. smoke crack too so you know it happens bro <laughs> you yeah. know good point and uh you know <laughs> i'm not judging <laughs> Adrian too says response to Fran's answer to my question a few weeks ago about podcast clips. You remember he asked why we don't do podcast clips? Ah, uh, yes. All right. So he says I will only make stream clips on two conditions: if you pronounce my last r- name right, and if you fix the bottom right border so it's aligned with everyone else's. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know what something's off with the border. No, probably not. I've never heard this Listen, before. I look at the video. He's an audio engineer. He knows. I <laughs> take very I take pride in our production for DCP when it comes to the video side of things. 
And I don't see any misalignment on the bottom right quadrant of the video. Okay? <laughs> None. <laughs> and he's an audio so. engineer. So. <laughs> Oh God, get right I'm to looking it, now. Now I can't unsee I don't know it. what you're talking about, Paul. <laughs> oh, they can't unsee the perfection? <laughs> Corey Garver says, would you try cosmic ice in your favorite drink? Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. It's probably liquid something. I feel like at I this point, it, they're going to need to make a cold. lore card about a guardian like tasting stasis for the first time just like trying yeah. out a shard and like it's reporting cool. back what it tastes like as they I die like <laughs> hmm. i need to know what it tastes like yeah it's got to be canon like yeah, exactly i want to know canon what it tastes like yeah <laughs> maybe i'll try and find out <laughs> i bet it comes in like a ball too you know like when you get like those fancy whiskey drinks at the bar and they mm -hmm. give you an ice cube that's like a huge ball yeah. oh. but no it's all it's all triangles <laughs> Yeah, oh, giant yeah, triangle. Mm -hmm. so Very, triangle. That's like a ball is the traveler. It's the complete opposite. It's all you can even have the little ice, ice triangles. triangles, and that would look pretty dope, too. Maybe put some sprinkles. They glitter, should sell an glitter. ice tray, like a bun an like a bungee tray. pyramid ice tray. For yeah, people. they should. Cosmic yeah, ice put in drinks. Okay, get DCP to work on your uh, cosmic ice merch I need line. a royalty from this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dreadnought says the butterfly effect question. What's one small trivia thing, trivial thing that you did that caused serious chaos later on? One small thing. This is a prior question. Like yeah. a life did. Sounds like Briar destiny. Has ton of these. <laughs> Anything, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh... That's really hard. I yeah. sounds like this could incriminate my school's yourself. paper instead of Russian Greek life, and here I am. <laughs> Game a writer. Yeah, I don't know if that's chaotic, but <laughs> yeah, it's a small decision at the time. Yeah, Briar, what chaos have you caused that you regret <laughs> but don't regret at the same time? I don't really have any regrets like that. Like the only regrets I have in life are the way I treated people. You know, like actual like mean things I've done to people. Those are the only regrets I've ever had. <laughs> Like I, dumb shit I've done. Like ah, that's all been fun. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna take Zealous's not making a build in Neo Two Tafty Tafty. <laughs> that had a big ripple effect. <laughs> I stand by my performance and my criticisms of that game. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of like one small thing that butterfly effect. I you mean, know, like. Well, you could say, you like, going out on a beer, date and then you end up getting married. If you spilled your beer, Briar, and it actually hit Fran's capture device. That would have been. That would have been a butterfly. <laughs> that we could talk about. But the gods love Briar and saved saved his beer. I don't know. It's don't called know. clean living, Watts. <laughs> yeah. is, it, is it the point of butterfly effect? Like, you don't know that it happens? Like, or, or what would have happened yeah. if, it, if something small didn't happen? I think, I think it's, it's, I think it's hard to track small. those. <laughs> Yeah. If you hadn't sharded in the theater that one time and then had to leave early, you could have been friends with the uh, <laughs> Timothy next to you. He would have been best buds. You would have been invited to his wedding. Had would great it, food. Would have had some sort of startup that would have then <laughs> been sold for millions down the road five years later because you know you the startup and the connections. Yeah. Because of that one shart in the theater. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hard question. Yeah, I mean, unless you're sitting in prison for life. Because <laughs> of a butterfly yeah. <laughs> effect of something that you could trace back, like it's really hard to connect something and be like, if I hadn't done that, well, actually, okay, I just remembered, I did work on a tech company, <laughs> and I turned down a fairly large, sizable amount of money because not like millions, but like you know, billion. No, <laughs> it was like fifty grand. Okay, I turned it down because I didn't want the potential legal. Uh, connections with the type of copyrights that was connected to it. And it turned out to be no problem at all down the road. So I could have been 50 grand richer. So there you go. And you wouldn't be here probably. I would have been on. Um, I would, would have, have invested it in Apple and then. I would have blown it all it and... on Black 7 in Tahoe. <laughs> trying to double it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but then you wouldn't be here with us. 
True. See, this was also early 2000s. So we wouldn't have had our intro from last week, probably. <laughs> There you go. I'm gonna have to go back to these episodes and look. And nothing happened. There's nothing there. Don't worry about it. Def- it. And it wasn't at the beginning. It's like somewhere weirdly in the middle, so you would never find yeah. it. That's you just scrub through the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. <laughs> Tiny Warner says, if you could take any person from history, live or dead, to the bar for a chat over an ice cold beer, who would it be? No language barrier. He says Nikola Tesla. That's a good one. I don't know. I'm going to take the three of you. Let's go out for a beer. That sounds great. Yeah. I haven't been out you for a beer in one ages. <laughs> Choose. Uh, I'm, I don't, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, I would, I would really like to talk to, to think of who I would have been friends with in history, but I, I would, wait, do you have to be friends or just want to pick, pick the brain? So what it said. Yeah, I think you could just pick the brain. You don't it have to help if friends. you were like. I want to talk to like Picasso. Be nice. And be like, mm. let's yeah, be a weirdo. This crazy. Yeah, he's probably a weirdo. <laughs> I want to be like, why are you a weirdo, dude? <laughs> I, I think we've been asked this question before. Maybe, but maybe in a different way. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think so. I think I'd go with Yasuke, which is widely known as like the the African samurai. Because I would love to hear that story, like that whole story of going from being a slave to then meeting one of the most influential people in history and becoming their retainer. And like, what, 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 what was that? Tell me. I want to know all the details. That sounds super interesting. Um, yeah, I'll probably that do does it. sound super interesting. I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. But now I want to know Neil more. Too. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nanuda Club says, pick your poison, cold toilet seats, or nails on a chalkboard. Keep up the good work. Oh, I'll take cold, cold toilet seats. Cold, cold toilet yeah, seat, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nails Do on a chalkboard. Is awful. Seats? Yeah, they, must, yeah, they right? do. Those Japanese toilets. That's thing. That's not how this works, though. You know, it's like you have to have one or the other. <laughs> you can't just suddenly, like, oh, the chalkboard doesn't exist because I smashed it, you know? <laughs> but he says cold so- toilet seats, plural. But only, he only says nails on a chalkboard. That's a singular. Like if I got to suffer through one nails on a chalkboard, I could have a heated seat on my toilet forever. I mean, seats could be two, plural. True. I don't, I don't find. I don't think toilet seats is bad at all. Yeah, it doesn't really buy. Warm is weird. It's like someone already sat on it. This is <laughs> weird. <laughs> Why would you want it to be warm? Listen, my ass runs hot, so when I get a nice chilly <laughs> seat, you know, it's, it balances the temperature. Yeah, right? isn't it better? I don't even understand. <laughs> I'm going to start telling my kids to go preheat the seat for me. <laughs> preheat the seat? That sounds like a new t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the Mohican 9 says, seeing that a lot of people struggled with the following of mask rules, do bad decisions in horror movies seem more plausible now. Oh, yeah. Like you'll always yes. fall when running to safety or not driving away in a car. Yeah. You know what? If we were in a horror situation, there would be people. Now I know for a fact that this is going to exist. There's going to be people saying that this is all fake. It's a it's a ploy from the government. This is totally not real. And people are just going to go out there and die. It's now true. I know that people are idiots. Like, truly. Yeah. If there was an actual zombie apocalypse... There would You're be a there. whole section of people being like, that's, mm-mm. no, <laughs> you're trying to bite me, but I don't buy it. No, as they're being eaten, be like, eh, mm, this you're is just going to say it's a cannibal. You're not trying to eat my brain. Brain. This is a QAnon cover up. It's like falling in a horror movie in the woods is like at least acceptable because like you tripped by accident, not like you yeah. didn't wear a mask. On purpose, like a dumbass. That's different. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Plus, most people are probably like, you know, not exactly in shape for running from a zombie for a couple miles in the woods, you know? Might get a few hundred feet and be like, damn, I've been on the internet all year. (laughs) (laughs) It's funny, it's not been good for the cardio. (laughs) You can throw the worst plots at me now, and I'll be like, yeah, probably. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Stacy Zero says, you know, I don't, I don't mind the conspiracy theories either. I, I encourage that kind of activity. Like, ask the questions. 
but wear a mask while you're watching the questions. What, what does that hurt? You know, like, I do not understand this, like, violent, like, resistance to wearing the mask. It's like, yeah. even if you're right, and it is a, it is just a, you know, the fix is in, wearing the mask isn't going to hurt you. <laughs> kind of thing, it makes you look a lot cooler. Right? Everyone looks like ninjas. They say, oh, they say I, I read something on the internet. I read a headline. I didn't read the whole article. <laughs> Yeah, but they said like women that. find men in masks more attractive. Yeah, because they know they're not idiots. Is that why? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, you know what's funny? The same exact thing was going on a hundred years ago, apparently, where there was like anti-maskers. Spanish flu. Well, with the oh, Spanish really? flu, the people there was a section of the population that were just like, "This is BS. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm like, there's a lot of the same principles of today for preventing the spread of it were employed." back then but a lot of people were like ah, yeah right there was the party group so was, being a dummy isn't new to the century it's apparently intrinsic to human population <laughs> like a certain portion has to be a dumbass you know so it's scary but it does it makes you more attractive and if you have like pimples on the lower part of your face guess what they don't exist anymore boom you're a ninja yeah Stasis Zero says, what's the one must-have food you got to have every week or every day? Just every day. Coffee of food. <laughs> I was going to say that, coffee. If, yeah. if, Calories in it. I think it counts. If not, probably pasta. Damn. That's the worst feeling in the world. When you wake up and you realize you don't have any coffee. Yeah. That is a fucking bummer. A nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Zombie apocalypse. Uh, I'll, I'll find no some. Like, my day will not start until I find coffee somewhere. Like I'll <laughs> I'll go where I have to. Oh, I'm definitely going out if I have no coffee at home. I'm like, oh, absolutely. I may have just woke up, but I'm getting coffee. <laughs> I'll go to Starbucks and I'll order two coffees. I'll come home and I'll drink one slowly, and I'll have one for the rest of the day as well. Mm, interesting. A I guess if you're just coffee. doing like food and not a full meal, you can do like rice. You can do. M- I can live the rest of my life with no rice. Hey, I, I rice. feel like I have rice. rice. I have rice every week. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like I have or rice a lot, food, but I'm not like attached food. to it. But rice what? is just great and everything. You can make everything with it. Yeah, what carbohydrate are you attached it's to? It's kind of just a blank flavor, right? It's just a filler. <laughs> no, flavor no, rice. Flavor of itself. No, rice has a flavor. Yeah, yeah, it just kind of sucks not, out the flavor. It's or whatever not the water of carbohydrates. Come on, man. It's not ice. There's the sweet rice. There's you know the the basmati rice. You got brown rice. You got wild rice. For God's sakes, there's so many rices. Mm -hmm. Briar is uneducated on the rice game. (laughs) We have rice and coffee. Perfect. (laughs) Uh, Zachary Richard says, "Hello, everyone. My question this week is: You guys are teleported into the Simpsons universe." Um, Which character would you spend the most time with? The person on your left has to choose for you. Oh, wait, hold on. Who's on so my left? I gotta wait, choose. Who's on my wait, left? What's... Wait, nobody's on my left. <laughs> who's on my left? We have to Chat go I'm on your left clockwise left. or counterclockwise. Or are we. Let's go. Wait. On the stream. Mm. Are we going what's by... what's the left? The left That's or right? on stream delay. That's right. All right, so I'm going to choose Watts for Tefty. Tefty's going to choose for Paul. Paul's going to choose for Watts, and Watts is going to choose for me. All right, Paul, you're going to have to hang out with Mo. Oh, man. That's a good one. <laughs> um, it's a little dark, he's going to throw you out constantly, and you're going to just reappear <laughs> back in there. Watts, you're going to have to hang out with Comic Book Man. Ooh, Oof. great. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting and fun. Delightful. <laughs> Who's the drunk guy in The Simpsons who's always at the bar? God damn it. <laughs> it's the one that Barney. always gets thrown out. Yeah. Fire. It's Barney. Mo Barney. throws him out and he just reappears right behind him. <laughs> Barney, Barney and Briar. You, you listen, it's the bees, the bees, the bees are hanging out. The Barney and the Briar, the barbecue Barney Briars. Oh, amazing. Barbecue, Briar, Barney, bees, extravaganza. <laughs> I got to look this guy's name up. I actually don't know the guy's name. Who am I hanging out with? <laughs> You're like, oh, it's what Bart. Are you, what are you Googling that? like, it's going to be Homer. <laughs> his name's it's Bart. Gonna be I know his job. <laughs> Tefty's going to be hanging out with Chief Clancy Wiggum because he's a fucking narc. 
<laughs> is he always at the donut shop or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> I lost my place damn it <laughs> uh, Eric Fanthavong says could you uh, can you help me come up with ways to convince my wife we need a 4k TV bonus if you can make it seem like it was her idea Stasis looks cool too I guess <laughs> Cosmic eyes. Make it look like her idea. That's going to be tough. Well, no, 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 no. I think every TV is 4K now. I think so, too. No, you could definitely find... Yeah, the cheaper ones. Definitely. I feel like 4K ones are so cheap now. It has to do with the panel. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, you can get a cheap panel, that type of stuff. I think... I mean, I was playing Call of Duty with my buddies, and, like, I would die because I couldn't see enemies because of the resolution, (laughs) but not sure this guy's wife cares about that. Mm. Now, Netflix can do HDR 4K. It looks really mm-hmm. nice. All right. Mm-hmm. So you need to find the perfect TV show or movie or set of programming that's going to look amazing in HDR 4K and be like, I don't know if I want to watch that show with you because it's not going to look as good with the the 4K stuff. You know, like I, I want the best possible experience if we're going to watch that show. Mm-hmm. Just secretly yeah. break the TV you have. And then... Just leave like Best Buy flyers around. <laughs> you know, I don't think the flyer is going to work. No, nah. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Once you do get her to agree to go into the store, you have to oversell it. You have to be like, we're going to get an 8K set with full surround sound built in. Don't worry, it's only like eight grand. So that when you go down, you come down to a reasonable. OLED 4K panel at like 1500. She's like, oh my God, I feel like I dodged a bullet. <laughs> this dude's over here looking at eight grand TVs. Did you work at we Best Buy? Because that's like something they would do there. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Aries to jump in? Confirm this be- Best Buy. Oh, I uh, forgot Aries. <laughs> best Buy tactic. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, have, said, you gotta have an emotional experience. That's what it is. Emotion, yeah. Emotional experience. You can't be buying off of specs. I, I everybody everybody who comes to my house now wants to buy this TV because they had an they, emotional experience, didn't they? Wait, what TV do you yeah. have? <laughs> I have a I have a OLED TV, mm-hmm. and everybody who sees it is just like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, it's probably next for me. Insane eight five one one says, "What is the best chicken wing?" So he's got some choices here: dry rub or sauce fried. Grilled or breaded? Oh, wait, no. Okay, so dry rub, sauce fried, or grilled? Breaded or non-breaded? Bone-in or boneless? Briar, what are your favorites? I'll ask you to go first. I'm going to go with sauce fried. (laughs) Fuck, this is going to go bad for me. (laughs) Breaded, (laughs) bone-in. Wow. Interesting. I'll keep that information for them. <laughs> okay. You're marking that for later. Now I know which is going to, you know, mesh best with the uh, briar meat. Yeah. Briar likes it. It's going to go great. It's going to be copacetic on a spiritual level. Hugo, I love this question, but I don't think I can ask it on air. It's 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 too far. I would ask it on a revolver, but I can't do it. Well, I need to know what it's it just is too now. Far. Yeah, now, now I'm Hold really on. curious. Now wow. I gotta find out. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I'll I can. I'll let you oh. know if it's too far. All right. Yeah, if Watts says it's okay, then it's go time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's pretty bad. Okay. Uh Duo Shade says, if you were a hot dog, what toppings would be on you? Briar, what toppings do you like <laughs> on your? <laughs> <laughs> for me personally, I would definitely go for some relish. Definitely some delicious relish mm. on there. Some mustard, but not too much mustard. I don't want this thing soaking in mustard. All right. A thin line. Yeah. Thin nice, line all the way, tip to tip. Thin line <laughs> with the relish <laughs> and a bit of ketchup. Sometimes I like to just dip the ketchup, you know, just. Uh, ketchup you and ever potato have, like, chips. Chopped onions? Oh, that was good too. Yeah. Chopped onions. 
potato chips on the on the hot dog? Yeah, I had that once. They just like crumbled a bunch of them on top of it. It's really good. That sounds like it'd be good. The yeah, different textures. Like <laughs> oh, I like that. I've never had that before. Mm. Oh. It's like a fancy hot dog place. Yeah, I can go with just like basic the the cooked onions with some ketchup. Like if you get a really good hot dog and they just have simple that on it, it's just great. It reminds me of the yeah. fair back when I was a baby. See, the, the I, best I'm not sure that I could ever get full off of eating a hot dog. I think if you gave me like one endless hot dog, I could just continue to consume it forever. <laughs> Like There's I can just keep in there. You know they have contests that is, for that. That is a challenge. <laughs> I, I feel like when I'm at like a barbecue or something, the only reason I stop eating hot dogs is because like everybody else stops. So I'm like, like I guess like two is the number that I should eat, but I'm not full. Like <laughs> I, I could yeah. eat like I could just keep eating hot dogs as far as I know. Hot dogs oh, are gosh. very much on the snack <laughs> side when it comes to a meal. Yeah. You know, ordering a hot dog. I will say if you've uh, if you come out of if you've been like in a club or something. Not that you would, because, you know, 2020, the pandemic. Yeah. But if you've been in clubbing, <laughs> you come out and there's someone cooking a hot dog on a super questionable little thing. And all in that boiled water wrapped bacon in there. Man, it's such a gamble. It's delicious. <laughs> and I wouldn't eat it today. But man, in the past, I did. And it was, I, I have, though. <laughs> yeah, I have in the past. And yet the butterfly effect that. <laughs> There it is, which caused like the shark bad in, in the, the theater, which missed out on the opportunity to have a big IPO, IPO or whatever the crap, and to have millions. Mm -hmm. Crap. <laughs> Damn you, hot dog. <laughs> uh, last question of the night from Achievement Raider says, how mad was Tefty? Super mad. <laughs> <laughs> At the fires happening. At what? Yeah. I don't even know what you're referring to. I, I think, think definitely the fires. I think everyone's pretty mad fires. about those. Sad about those. Yeah. That's awful. Do you think I was mad because I was awful. on the show for two weeks? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> I was giving you guys the silent treatment. It's like, I'm just not going to show up. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck Destiny. <laughs> Fuck Pope Bear leaving. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, who knows? I think thinks we, I don't even think we uploaded the last two weeks. I think we just took the time off, right? Yeah. <laughs> What? So it's not even worth going back and looking at anything. Yeah, that's, it's not oh, even is this a continuation? Something there. about me being mad in the previous episodes? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Speculative no. experience. There's, nothing's I even there. Be mad about it. There's there's definitely shouldn't there. check. No. Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't look back. Look forward, Tefty. <laughs> Achieve your dreams. Reach your future. True. Mm, true. Don't let your dreams be memes. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we think about uh cosmic ice. Yeah. It's delicious. It tastes it's like very strong. Earl Grey and tastes like blueberry and menthol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe licorice and menthol. <laughs> yeah. Licorice black coffee with a hint of sweet. Wow. That that is a flavor profile. <laughs> <laughs> what is the one of those like fancy ice cream shops where you're like, I don't know, really wouldn't eat that flavor, but they're like making all kinds of weird stuff to get in the paper or something. Sorry, the internet, <laughs> the paper, <laughs> the paper, <laughs> get in the paper. Wow, <laughs> Tefty, you were gone for too long. Jeez, I, went, I went back in time. I hopped in my time machine. I visited the past because people weren't wearing masks. It was great. <laughs> well should we wrap this one up is that it i think that's it all right yeah. thank god we dodged guys. thank god we dodged stasis. hugo's There's gonna be uh, even more question. stasis stuff in like a week so there yeah. is yeah yeah never when ending is... stasis reveal so yeah so the, the, first. the third the th so yeah the first and the third and the third is thursday yeah. so we're gonna be able to talk about two of the the subclass reveals on next thursday's show are we though? Because you know, Hunter is not till the following week. So, not sure we could just wait. I mean, well, no. So we, we get two of them next week, but then we get to spend the full episode on Hunter. Oh, You're yeah, right. Boy. That is some glass half full. Warlock, glass half full, Briar. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's Love the it. one right there. It's like eating your broccoli before you eat your steak, you know? Like, yeah. You got to get it over with. Yeah. yeah, it's the foliage that you got to get through to feel like you earned it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So that's the show then. Are we wrapping it up? I think so. 203 DCP Live. 203. How do we. That was my re- area code when I was a kid. Interesting fact right there of Briar. <laughs> <laughs> Taking notes. <laughs> uh, what do we What do we say at the end? I forget. It's been two weeks. Uh, Paul Tassie, where can people find yeah. you? Uh, at Paul Tassie on Twitter. Google me for my articles. Paul Tassie on YouTube, and I wrote some books on Amazon. So, a bunch of places. Awesome. Me. Sure. Hello. <laughs> I'm Miss by Thousand Watts. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. Just look for Miss by Thousand Watts. Briar, probably. Uh, I am Briar Rabbit. You can find me on Twitter. I will be streaming next week. I got a plan for some streams I want to do. Nice. Uh, so come by and check out uh, Briar Rabbit on Twitch. Awesome. Yes. Next week. Hell yeah. Do it. There's going to be cosplay. There's going to be an OnlyFans announcement with a calendar. It's very exciting. <laughs> I already pre ordered. <laughs> I pre-ordered his only <laughs> I just got a secret email. <laughs> uh, you can find I'm Tefty Teft. You can find me at Teft on Twitter and catch my streams, twitch.tv forward slash Tefty Teft. I haven't been streaming for a couple weeks and I plan on picking it back up this Monday after side quest. Uh, looking forward nice. to getting back into the schedule and the swing of things. I'm also looking forward to the fall schedule of stuff coming out. And I I really wish Destiny was coming out earlier, but I completely understand that they need more time to be great on the development. So I'm glad Bungie's doing that. But man, I wish I could play some Beyond Light sooner than later. I know. It's looking like it's going to switch things up nicely. Yeah. I'm excited. It is. Yep. So yeah, that's the show. Thanks for watching. Shout out to our Patreon members and our Twitch subs and uh, people watching live and listening in your hallway commute to your home office your hallway <laughs> commute to your home office. <laughs> from, throw in the, the earbuds to the kitchen <laughs> what, like, if, wow. what if there's actually people who wake up at the normal time and their commute takes them two hours and they just go and sit in the hallway when they're normally be in the car and just listen to the show that could be a thing i, I think yeah. there's a lot of people who still Extremely wake up normal yeah. at that time yeah <laughs> maybe they go in their car that would make even more sense they just sit in the car they're like all right Commute time. Well, Got to feel normal. Get away from Breaks the kids. up your day. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for all the support. Thank you. Um, see you next week. See you. Side quest is beyond Monday. All right. Beyond right. Monday. Beyond yeah. Monday. It's like beyond me, <laughs> but beyond Mondays. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yes. Bye. Bye.